on Flavor Frenzy, I investigate if Eggnog is actually as OP as people say they are. How good are they against bosses? And are they great for everything else? And if you don't have Eggnog yet, you should watch my video on how to easily get them in this video's description. The first thing I gotta do is unlock them. No, dang. Alright, one more try, one more try. And after the second attempt at the event chapter, he's finally added to the team. The first thing about Eggnog that you'll notice is his huge range, but also that you only get 4 of them per player. That's a lot less than the 10 sushis you can have, and the 6 port caviar. But does less of them mean they're balanced to have more damage than the rest? Let's test that. Up against Pina Cobra, a single set of them can do nearly 20,000 damage. Then, two sets of them do pretty well and manage to get them to a second phase around the halfway point. But, that's exactly when they stop doing well. The faster the target gets, the more their fatal flaw shows. Since Eggnog has a longer cooldown than the rest of the range bears, they really can't do enough damage. Letting Pina Cobra run through and reach the base with 6k HP left. I also want to mention, my setups have half of each set set to target first, and the rest of them targeting strongest. Because while Pina Cobra is alive, some of them need to deal with all the cherry snakes he spawns in. And of course, all of them are buffed by Macha and Bacon. Doing the same test with the rest of the range bears, two sets of sushis manage to reach the second phase just slightly before Eggnog does. And with the razor thin gap, they actually managed to kill Pina Cobra just before it got to the end. And finally, two sets of caviars reach the second phase even faster than the rest, and pump out a wild amount of damage, stopping them way before they reach the end. So far, Eggnog isn't looking like a great choice. Like, look at this. I put them up against Cheezilla, right? And they struggle so hard. He's only 5k HP. He passes the midway point, and he's like, he's like 10 steps away from the end. And they have to get like almost 60k left. Yeah, there's like no way they're getting through this. Yeah, they do an extra 12k damage. But the oven still has 44k left. So far, Eggnog does the least amount of damage to bosses, and they perform even worse against anything that moves faster. But hey, we can't forget that Eggnog also does AoE damage. So maybe he's better off used like an AoE bear. So let's spawn in some chunky mobs and get to testing. While the rest of the range bears struggle a lot with the 30 beetles I spawned, letting almost everything slip through, let's see how Eggnog does in this test. They seem like they're doing a lot of damage, but as soon as they split up on the track, they they can't finish off the ones that slip through. I mean like on this track, their range is far enough that they could finish them on the other side of the track towards the end, but in another map, if they slip through, they're not going to be touched again. But comparing them to other AoE bears, they're actually pretty mediocre. Both Cupcakes and Meringue do so much better crowd damage. Take a look at this. Look, they're not even reaching far at all. They're all dying at the same place. They're instantly killing them with their wall of damage, never getting them too far at all. And then with Meringue, it's kind of the same deal. Like, they kind of die at the same place up until... Up until Meringue has to... Um, has to attack again because of their cooldown. They slip through a little bit, but they still do a lot of damage. Very similar to Cupcake. So while they're not great at being either role, 
their extra range is actually perfect alternative for AoE damage. They're the perfect choice for all water levels, like Swamp Water Village and Blossom Sauna. And they're also great for clearing out smaller mobs and slow clusters. They would do perfect around early rounds and place fairly close to the beginning of the track, letting your real damage dealers handle whatever slips through. And don't forget to set them to target first or target weak, so they're all focused on the same cluster. And for fun, here's some quick footage of me using Eggnog to solo the Lighthouse Isle. So Eggnogs are taking care of both tracks at the same time, but mainly the land track. And I have all my caviars focused on the water track for the most part, except for two. Two of them could reach the land track to clean up the chunkier ones. And then I also have Pineberry to clean up whatever leaks get through, just in case. But Eggnogs do pretty well knocking them down to like half HP. They do pretty well against the slow cluster. The slow cluster is like pretty much already dealt with. These eggnogs are like level 3 and the rest of them are like level 4. I had like no money to upgrade them fully. But once Mangotis leaves their range, I sell them and I go ahead and upgrade my caviars to do the rest of the damage. I sell whatever's out of range and I place down and upgrade whatever's left. And then that pine berry for the last little hit kills him. Hey, if this helped you use eggnog efficiently or thought any of it was useful, like the video and share this with your friends. And if you want to see more bear testing, watch this video.